So I was messing around with ChatGPT the other day and came across this really cool hack that you can use with custom GPTs. And that's what I'm going to show you in this quick video. So be sure to stick around to the very end. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's dive into this chat GPT hack that I recently discovered. So I promise to keep this short versus rambling like 99% of YouTube videos getting you in here with a clickbait title and thumbnail. But what this is, and I'm surprised I didn't know this before, is that you can actually use multiple custom GPT, custom GPTs, excuse me, inside one chat. Maybe I'm behind the game on this, but I didn't actually know this until a couple days ago when I accidentally hit the app button and I noticed this menu popped up and I was like, what is this? And I realized you can use multiple custom custom GPTs in one continuous chat. So now I'm gonna go through a quick example of why you would want to do this. So first of all, when creating and using custom GPTs, one best practice that I found works well and I found better outputs doing it this way is to assign one particular task to a custom GPT. So for example, I have one custom GPT dedicated to convert videos to blog posts. I have another custom GPT dedicated to emails, another one dedicated to social media posts, another one for optimizing YouTube videos, podcasts, news articles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I've just found that your outputs will be better if you have one definitive task per custom GPT. So in this example, I took one of my YouTube videos and repurposed it into a blog post. I gave this custom GPT a target keyword and I copy and pasted the entire video transcript. And based on that transcript, it came up with this blog post. Now it looks like this based on the custom settings and parameters that I have set when I built this custom GPT. And so here's the SEO optimized blog post. Now, if we go back to the purpose of this video, this is the custom GPT hack and how you can actually use it. So now I'm going to click at, and let's say for instance, I want to now make an email based on this YouTube video and blog post. I'm going to pull up my AI power play email GPT, which is fully dedicated to generating my email newsletters in a particular format. So I added it, I selected it from the list and now I can type in, uh, let's see, repurpose this into uh, an email newsletter using your uh, format. And so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna come back after this output is complete. So there we go. This custom GPT then took that existing content from the blog post and YouTube video and reformatted that into an email newsletter based on the parameters that I have set in this particular email custom GPT. That's why this is so important is because each custom GPT, I have a clearly defined, uh, you know, I've clearly defined parameters and custom instructions to make sure that the output comes out a certain way versus just using one custom GPT and saying, make an email, make social media posts, make a blog post. Those outputs will not be what I'm looking for. That's why this hack I thought was so cool. So I can even take this a step further and add another custom GPT into the existing chat. And this one is all about repurposing content into engaging social media posts. So I repurpose this email newsletter, this SEO optimized blog post, and the video transcript into a post for LinkedIn. And obviously you can come in here and fine tune this. It's not gonna be perfect. And also posts for Twitter or X. And again, I have different parameters set for that custom GPT than I do all the other ones. But long story short, again, I hope you guys are following along with where I'm going with all of this, is that that is the hack that I wanted to show you is that you can use multiple custom GPTs inside one chat using chat GPT. Now, I also just tried this using Claude Projects and Perplexity Spaces, and unfortunately, you cannot do that on those platforms. Maybe those will update over time and have this sort of functionality. That would be really cool to see. But anyways, appreciate you all for making it this far into the video. If you found value in this type of content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, but I also wanna hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Did you guys already know about this and I'm just stupid and don't know what I'm talking about? That could be a possibility too. But most importantly, guys, I hope you all have a great day.